it's only around noon at this time. So hey guys, it's Joe with Joe Talks. I know it's been a while since I did my last video, but I have a really special treat for you guys today. Today I really wanted to talk to you guys about the recent Tesla energy products that was recently installed into my home. So specifically, I have the Tesla solar panels. And for those of you who are super excited about Tesla in general, They've always, of course, we all know that they've been making their Tesla Model S's, the Model X's, and Model 3's, and probably in the future, I'll probably do a video on my Tesla Model S. But anyway, today I wanted to focus on the solar panels that they've installed onto my property. Garage, you can see that there are two inverters. And these inverters is basically what's converting the raw solar power into the usable current that we have in our homes. So these two inverters, this one is currently producing, let's see, uh, 28, almost 2900 watts. And this one is producing almost 3,100 watts for a combined total of what? What is that? I can't do math. Uh, 59, 50, almost almost six kilowatts. So this system is designed to be an 8.2 kilowatt system. Now the time is only around noon at this time, so theoretically I should be getting some of the best power. However, even though that you purchase an X kilowatt system, in this case an 8.2, you might not always realize the 8.2 kilowatt power generation. The reason being is because there's a lot of energy loss. Of course, there's heat transfer, there's sound. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but there's a very high-pitched buzzing that you can hear. So all that contributes to energy loss. So the 8.2 kilowatts is an estimated aggregate. However, the most I've ever seen is around 7.8 kilowatt production, which is pretty good, all things considered. So, and of course, I have my trusty drone here. My drone here today will be giving us some aerial footage of the panels that I have. Let's see if I can actually back up. So, my 8.2 kilowatt system, it pretty much means that I have, I think it's 27 or 29 panels. I have effectively two arrays, which is why I have two of the inverters. And you can't really see it, but you can see the first one over there. And there's another one on the roof. But again, that's why we have the drone. But, all right, let's go see what we can get with that. All right, guys, as you can clearly see from my amazing drone flying abilities, I decided to use static images from my drone. I decided not to crash my drone while making this video. But as you can see here, there are the 27 panels. I have, what is it, 12 on one side and 15 on the top side. So my south-facing roof has a 15, and my west-facing roof has 12. That's not correct math. What I meant to say was that the west-facing side has 15 panels, and on the south-facing side, I have 12 panels. 15 plus 12 is 27. I, I promise I can do math. I'm, I'm not a bad Asian. But anyway, this is probably what you guys care about the most. When I was sold this system, I was told it would generate about 120% of my monthly usage. The reason it's only stating 101% is because of the fact that I do charge my Tesla Model S on a daily basis. So by virtue of the fact that I'm still getting over 100% is rather impressive. But let's move on to a different graphic. I took this screenshot right as I was finishing the drone and yeah, it was pretty close. 6.2 kilowatts is not actually too bad. 6.1, 6.2, 6.3, somewhere within that range. And that's with air conditioners running, doing washers and dryers, and of course having a movie playing in the background. I want to point something out is the fact that here you see the 6.2 kilowatt generation and the house is using 4.3 kilowatts and we're sending back 1.9 back to the grid. What that basically means is the house is using 4.3, but we're selling back 1.9 kilowatts back to the grid. So not only do I have all the power that I need for the home, but I'm also making money by selling it back to my local utilities company. So what does that actually mean? Let's actually take a look at some of my recent buildings and we can actually translate some of those figures into quantifiable values. Since we're still in the summer heat, I wanted to use a month that I didn't have the solar system turned on yet. So this is between the months of May and June. Here you can state that, uh, actually you can see that we've used around 1,702 kilowatt hours in that time frame. And at that cost, of course, with the rate use and everything, the total charge for electricity that I was billed from the utilities company was a whopping $190.96, almost $200. Keep in mind that the solar loan that I got from Tesla is only about $110 a month. So by going from almost $200 to $110 is a saving of $80 to $90, not including the monies that I'm actually getting back from selling my excess power to the utility company. All right, guys, even more impressive is the latest bill that I just got from July to August of this month. You'll notice that the total charge for the service was only $14.80. However, you also see that I have a net metering credit balance of 142 kilowatts. That's pretty awesome. What that means is this month, I actually generated more power than I needed. And the only reason that I got charged $14.80 is because that is the utility's way of saying, 
Thank you so much for giving us power. But because we're monitoring, we're going to charge you 51 cents a day for the 29 days of this month for a whopping $14.80. But frankly, guys, $110 plus $15, $125 that I'm paying for electricity versus the, what, almost $200? I'm okay with that. It's not bad. All right, guys. So what did we learn today? Today we learned that with my 8.2 kilowatt system, not only am I generating all the power that I need to run the air conditioner, do the washer and dryer, watch movies, have a network service stack in my basement, but also charge my Tesla, the city is actually buying back the power that I'm generating in return. So that not only am I uh, uh, left with a $110 loan from Tesla, but I'm only paying the $15 a month. So I'm actually saving on paper $80 to $90 a month specifically just for my electrical power use. Now, some of you guys are probably wondering, how much did this system cost? It cost me $29,000 direct from Tesla. And after the 30% federal incentive and the Colorado Springs 10% incentive, I only paid like $17,500 for this system. It's a pretty good deal, I think. Because not only does it come with a 20-year warranty, and of course, I, I think I got an additional five-year warranty for, for doing something. Tesla's always throwing out incentives. But I have a total 25-year warranty for what they claim to be impact-resistant panels. Here in Colorado Springs, we're very prone to hail. And when I was talking to my representative, Jacqueline, she actually told me that of the many, many, many thousands of panels that they had deployed here in Colorado Springs, they had to replace less than 20 of them. So I think that's pretty cool. But guys, if you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Joe Talks. And if you guys are interested in getting Tesla Energy or perhaps even a Tesla Model Anything, click on the link below. I have a referral there, and I believe they're actually ending their free unlimited supercharging. But as they continue to roll out more incentives, I'm sure it'll be worth your while. Again, I'm Joe with Joe Talks. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hey, guys, I almost forgot. A huge shout out to my Tesla representative. Her name is Jacqueline. Her name and contact information is also in the link below. She has been absolutely phenomenal dealing with all my super technical questions and just the overall annoyance of dealing with me in general. But she's helped a lot of my friends with Tesla Energy. And if you guys are ever interested, please feel free to reach out to her. Tell her Joe from Joe Talk sent you and she'll hook you up. Thanks so much, guys.